Social distancing can be a challenge for businesses, especially those that depend on crowded rooms. Wedding planners, conference organizers, entertainers. Emily Stroud shows us how one company that focused on large events has scaled down with great results. It's been a very, very busy time creating all these designs. For 14 years, her design and decorating company has created elaborate balloon creations for big events. Arches, sculptures, like we've made a 13 foot long fish. We do a lot of different <laughs> things like that. And we do a lot of ceiling decor especially the convention center. But COVID-19 took away that business for above the rest balloon and event design in West Knoxville. I did a lot of prayer, a lot of meditating, a lot of journaling, and just asked God to guide me and go, what is it you want me to do? And so I received very clearly a message about putting a sculpture in the front yard. Uh, so we did, and I put the word faith up. Diana Glandon is responsible for what she calls courage columns. They popped up near her business on Ebenezer Road last month. Because of all of that and because of the response, we created a spirit lifter program so people could purchase. And that's what that's what has spawned all of this. This fills her workshop with smaller balloon projects for mailboxes and porches and front yards. Demand is up for positive ways to celebrate events. We're working on graduation designs. Here's our first prototype for Bearden High School. These DIY foil balloon spirit lifters are balloons from the heart and come ready to assemble. No helium required. They come flat and you can put them together yourself. When my granddaughter inflated it, this took 24 seconds to inflate, and these take about 10 seconds to inflate with a straw. It's been really exhilarating and joyful, but at the same time, it's I'm working really long, hard, hard hours, and so have, so is Piper, and, and, and my 11-year-old my granddaughter has been working a lot of hours, too. She ships them all over the country and makes local deliveries. 15% of proceeds go to Emerald Youth Foundation. I'm grateful for how many opportunities are showing and, and morning now i'm grateful for the people that have been sending me messages and saying how thankful they are for the balloons we put on the street as well as the balloons we're putting in their yards diane glandon is confident those large-scale events will come back and she'll continue to make these balloons from the heart spirit lifters for the community i'm emily stroud live at five at four Love to see what they're doing here in our community.